Hi, my name is Jason Tranter. I'm the founder and managing director of Mobius Institute. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our crystal clear training methodology. Our number one aim is to ensure that you learn everything you need to be successful as a vibration analyst. And I'd like to tell you how we go about doing that. The first step is we have to break down the barriers in understanding what's happening inside the machine, how it works and how it fails. How then the vibration will change when it's failing and how to set up the analyzer to make sure you capture the vibration necessary to tell you that it's failing. Well, we do that with 3D animations and software simulations during the course. The 3D animations you just have to see to believe. They take you inside the machine to explain how it works and to show you what happens if there's particles in the bearing raceways, when there's damage, when there's chipped teeth inside the gearbox and all kinds of things. You will know exactly what's going on inside the machine and what happens when it fails. The animations make it visually very easy to understand and the software simulations provide a level of interactivity which truly explain the interaction between the, the analyzer itself measuring the vibration and what you see in the vibration readings. Everything is explained so clearly you'll just be surprised at how much you can learn. But even though we teach a lot in the classes, one problem is that potentially you may be less experienced and learn a little less quickly than the next person. The instructor wants to make sure that everyone is learning everything necessary as we go from subject to subject. And that's why we use these little student polling devices. Every student receives one of these devices at the beginning of the class and the serial number lets the computer know who's got which device. All through the course we pop up little training quizzes so that if we cover a topic we have just a few questions on that topic. Now, if every student presses the correct button, the instructor knows that everyone understands that topic. But if a few people don't correct the, press the correct button, well then we can back, go back and revise that topic. So with the animations and simulations we explain things clearly. With the little training devices we make sure everyone understands. But the other main point is, or the challenge with any training is what sort of a learning curve you need to get up with these complex topics. So we have the learning zone. As soon as you register for the course, you can begin your training. So there's actually videos of me teaching the courses and all sorts of other learning aids on the learning zone. If you take advantage of that, when you go into the classroom and you hear about FFTs or modulation or bearing faults, whatever it is, it won't be the first time you've heard about it. It'll be the second or third time you've heard about it. You'll, observe, you'll absorb things so much more quickly. And just in case you forget any of those topics, for six months after the course you can continue to go back to the learning zone and refresh yourself on those topics. So with the pre and post training, the animations and simulations during the course and these little polling devices that ensure that every student moves along at the same pace, we are confident that you will learn as much as it is possible to learn in our training classes.